What it do, Cosmic Crew? Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So, as you can see, I'm doing um, Juice World, and I've been stalling like I am now, because, you know, <sighs> I'm still stalling. <laughs> Okay, James, what do we need to know? What is it that needs to be said here? My aesthetics. <laughs> what is it that needs to be said here? What do we need to know, too? I'm definitely hearing, um, I'm the king of this shit. I automatically am sensing Lil Uzi and Drake, uh, and these energies. As far as harnessing his. And, um, NBA Youngboy. And several others. Several others. He's saying he the king of this shit, okay? I want y'all to see. He the king of this shit. And these are his senseis, all right? Something about the sound, SoundCloud um, rappers. He said, yeah, he's the, he's the king of that. Yeah, a lot of people ate off of his um, kindness. Took things right out of his mouth, right off of his um, plate. I get a sense that they, it's like, he feels like people played in his face. Like they put him up on this pedestal only to kick that shit down. Because they wanted him to feel safe and comfortable to um let his guard down. And it's like they saw him weak and they saw him withering away and they saw him out of his mind. But they kept feeding that. And I, I don't think he knew a lot of the drugs he was taking. There was there was some woman in particular that was feeding this boy drugs. Okay? Right here. There's somebody that was keeping him high. And I get a sense he's really shy. He's really shy. He didn't like all that attention. Oh. Yeah. This bitch. Okay, this bitch. Bitch, witch. <laughs> Whore. Demon in a red dress. Dyke, come guzzling, Jezebel, Delilah, some about Delilah.
I don't think he was making much money either. Ooh, something about his contracts. He wasn't making much money, but they had if he felt like he was like, um like a court jester. Okay, like he just comes in and he just does his tricks and his show and they throw <laughs> change at him. I don't know. Some this got something to do with Mac Miller too. It's kind of how they did Mac Miller. Like they like people that are naturally talented, and I really feel like Lil Uzi is like vamping off his energy, like drinking it. And he has to, like, fight fight him off. Like, literally, he has to fight Lil Uzi off in the spiritual realm. These people are in purgatory, okay? So that's why it can be 20, 30 years... And you'll still feel Aaliyah. You'll still feel Tupac. You'll still feel, you know. <sighs> Princess Diana. They keep revitalizing their spirit. Because they have containment of their soul. So they just add a new spark to it. They refurbish it. Yeah, I see them. They're like down... It reminds me of Hercules, where they're like down in that, um, down in Hades. He ruled the underworld, but thought the dead were coming clean. He wasn't mean as he was ruthless, and that's the gospel truth. But they got a plan. To shake things up, I promise. They got the wrong niggas over there. They got the wrong niggas over there in that um in that dimension over there in that plane working like slaves. They got the they got the they got a plan to shake things up. <laughs> And that's the gospel true. They stop working. That's why these niggas did these niggas music sucks. They stop working. That's why they got animatronics trying to rap. That's why everything that comes out is a remake. That's all they can do. And it's something about Summer Walker and Aaliyah and Chloe Halley. Chloe and Halley, if, if that's two different people, I don't know. But um, these young women and how, how they siphon off Aaliyah's energy. Aaliyah, this is just where I was reading.
Me and Aaliyah be going back and forth. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. These, um, I believe what they have to do is warn people. Okay. These are warnings. These are <sighs> telltale stories. Okay. Do not make these same mistakes. Do not get contractually obligated with your creative energy don't sell your cre your source don't sell your inspiration because these people literally have to work until the end of time they have to keep making music no for real has a lot to do with um, the spirit cooking uh, they eat a lot of their flesh okay when they wear different clothes with their pictures on it and their names like that's them um, it's like a sigil okay this has a lot to do with stem cells so you can clone that. This is it's not that far fetched, okay? They can clone these energies in their brain and their molecules and their um like I always say that cerebral cortex and whatever that is in the back of their head, like that has a lot to do with their um something about the mitochondria. in the plasma tell me about Jay-Z too the Jay-Z is like um He's a slave himself. Jay Z's is scared. If anybody should be scared, it's him. Honestly. the music industry is going to tank okay like I said there's something about um, trying to like reconstruct it because of the way that the artists are getting money and I feel like there's a lot of people that are trying to come in and with this independent route and try to um, relinquish the soul ties that have to be made but it has a lot to do with the airwaves okay it goes back to um dominion over the plane so of course this is the prince of air so if you want to get played on air there are different plays you have to make there are um there's work you got to put in. And I also feel like he doesn't even like his music. Like, he feels like his, that shit is trash. Like, it's... Like he was barely conscious while he was making it. There's something about his early music that really had a lot of heart. But it became just the point of just, it, it was just a job. But there are so many people that eat out of their pockets. Like, these people's life is 
a facade, okay? There are so many people that eat out of their fucking pockets once they get signed. It's ridiculous. You see all these checks he's signing? Every nigga that's sitting next to you want a check, bro. go to jail there's been a lot of organized crime going on a lot of it and a lot of just self snitching but it's all intentional all of this is intentional so I'm not yeah NBA young boy NBA young boy. Okay. There's something about, um, Okay, so NBA Youngboy, apparently, from what I'm what I'm sensing here, apparently he really likes men. So they're really confused why he keeps making all these children. Okay, because he really likes to fall and lay up with niggas and like lay up with dicks and like have dicks all in his face. But I, I, I the Juice World got a little twist in his hips too. So we yeah, so we ain't gonna say that. But anyway, ooh, um, there's also something about yeah. I feel like a lot of these people are are going to um get caught up with a lot of uh mischievous things i feel like there are a lot of gun charges that are going to come up as well as just um unsolved cases kevin gates is evil like he's like a um like Kevin Gates It's something about Kevin Gates, Lil Snoop, like all these Okay, so this is just a You know he's a sad, so he just the gang's all here, okay? It's something about Kevin Gates. Oh God! So you know when he, when he was face. I mean, when he had no hair on his face. Like something about that. Something about um liking the little boys. Okay, so Lil Snoop was the original NBA young boy. Okay, uh, they they groom these young men, and like I always say, they kind of have to go through this hazing. Okay, that's what it is. They get hazed. They get videotaped. They get um, humiliated. They get blackmailed. And then they receive hush money in the form of a record deal. Now, if they can comply, they can keep going. If they don't, they end up dead. A lot of them turn to drugs because they cannot live with it. They have to do some really heinous things. Like, I feel like some of it is even like a draw of a hat. Like, literally. They'll have, like, family members in the hat. And you just pick. They want you to be, um totally intertwined in their world and only deal and only deal with their people and their stylists 
and their makeup artists and their producers and their engineers and their um, drivers. And you know, yeah, it's it's a very knit circle and they all eat off each other's plate and they all work together and they all got their hand in this pot. And a lot of this shit is fake. A lot of these beats are fake. Except for, like I said, the people that end up dead. I feel like there's some kind of prostitution ring that's going to get um, called out. And a lot of these influencers are about to be Um, <laughs> a lot of uh, true colors are about to show and a lot of true lifestyles are about to be made because a lot of things, you know, are documented. Like you can't, you can't argue with, uh, court records and, you know, if it says repossession, that's what it is. If it says this, that's what it is. Like you can't argue with that. And a lot of people's lifestyle a lot of people's lifestyle doesn't reflect what they show. And I also get a sense that um, a lot of them kind of know it's coming. They can sense that their time is up. So do they tell y'all? Like, is it in the contract that you're going to die? a time span I think like from what I'm feeling it's like when you get coverage like insurance damn it's like insurance coverage and then like when your coverage um starts to dry up or is the end date then you gotta renew it It has a lot to do with like actual occult work. Like these people are like really occultist. Like they take it very seriously. The numerology, the symbology, the um the linguistics, even down to like your name, the letters in your name. Like they they pay attention to all that. A lot of these people are pan picked. And yeah, they've been watching these people since they were young. A lot of the artists that lose their life were um, on the, the radar for a very long time. And there's also something here about um, definitely signing contracts in blood, but Oof, being, yeah, being, um, like, this, high. They used to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just go with whatever, whatever they say. I don't know why I keep feeling Kodak Black. Kodak Black, and like I said, Drake, Kanye, I 
Like these are like um It's like they got a whole It's like they have a whole kingdom. And then it's like they have squadrons. And like Beyonce is really like the queen. And something about G Herbo, like that basketball shit. Like these people live in a whole nother reality. Now they on some medieval shit. I keep saying that. They're they're like they're on some medieval shit. And then they go behind these closed doors and they wear these robes and they do like these ancient rituals. Yeah, like br Didn't, don't I keep telling y'all they be setting these people loose and like chasing them or like having like wild animals chase them like through mazes and shit like these people got too much money bro and time they got too much time but if you want to sit with them you really gotta prove it And they're so, like, raunchy. Like, they're freaky. And they like to change people's um, natal charts and their, um, their background. It's like they have... There's some, some woman, she gives me like a Hecate vibe, like she can, like she got like a few different faces, you know, made in Mother Chrome, like she can see a lot. I keep feeling Hercules. That, that little old lady. Hold up, I'm going to pull it up. You see this? Okay, this is where they are. All right. Okay. These are the witches and the warlocks. This is what they look like. They control the fates, okay? Okay, okay, so I get it. Okay, so they are the heroes, all right? These are your heroes, your ones that transition, that lose their life, that come in with all the talent, all the grace, um, that deserve all the glory, okay, that were born for it. These are your heroes, okay? And then you have the little niggas, your pains and your panics that come around and they shape shift. They change into your friend that needs help and they just pull on your energy and they keep you from your path all right and there might have been things from their mothers and their fathers that led them down a certain way okay but they always had this destiny right there was always something different about them right okay and then women come in their life we got our meg so they have these women that's sent from hell sent from hades they're on contract too. These women are contractually obligated to set these men up. The Hercules, okay? Hercules, Hercules. That's what these men are. These men and these women that lose their life. They are the star. He was in the car, a star. Does he like this movie? I don't know if Juice World like this movie. Come on, everybody shout out loud. A star is born. Oh, you gonna make me cry. 
the star is born. Who's a hero who can please the crowd? A star is born. Come on, everybody shout out loud. Okay, so yeah, and then um most of them they end up dying because of a woman, okay? That's literally what happens. They put a bitch on them they, that they know they can't resist. And they give their lives to fight for her, to defend her, to defend her honor, or, or to defend um, their manhood, okay? And they get caught slipping, and they lose their fucking life. Because, unfortunately, that's how the fates have decided. Because they... gave their soul away they gave their fate away so they had the final say so they were able to decide when to cut the string when to pull the plug Definitely Jay Z, okay? That's one of his songs, too. Oh, let me go back. Okay, look. Mace, Yay, DMX. But Jay Z said he's what? He's the map, he's the blueprint for all these niggas, right? That's what he say. He said, every day a star is born, but he the blueprint. All right. Puff Daddy, under Jay-Z. Wayne, <laughs> under Jay-Z. 50 Cent, under Jay-Z. Eminem. Snoop, Nelly, <laughs> Drake, T.I., Jeezy. Jay-Z literally sunning all these niggas. Outkast, Mob D, Prodigy, Wu-Tang. That's another story, Wu Tang. Yeah. So you either become a minion, okay? You either become one of their minions or they end your fate. Cause I, I gonna shout it from the mountain tops. A star is born. It's a time for pulling out the stops. Okay, so they had to go to great lengths because these these people were destined for um, nothing but success. Okay, and they did it easily. What what they did was natural. It was graceful. It was eloquent. Like it was it was like breathing. That's who they go for. The people who do this shit like it's nothing. That's the energy they want. That's the what that's what they love. <laughs> Honey hit us with a hallelujah. The kid came shining through. <laughs> the kid came shining through, did he? <sighs> A star is born. So like I said, this has a lot to do with numerology, genealogy. It has to do with their birthday. If you could take their birthday and break it down, they've already 
figured out your contract based on um, which one you sign. So they decide, okay, so we got this many years on them. Let's run these numbers. Let's set this up. We're going to put this bitch on them whose numbers match this. Like, it's, it's um, Kabbalistic. It has a lot to do with the tree of life. Like I said, they change people's Akashic records in their natal charts. Because in your natal charts, you can say what, you can kind of see what should happen in someone's life. So they'll get there, they'll draw a chart and actually move people's placements. And like align them in such a way and then decode it and suppress that into their aura. It's magic. But once you give over that right, you can't fight it. <sighs> um, please play his music. Like I said, the old shit in particular. Um, when it was raw and it was um for fun. As well as lighting some candles for him. Because his, his soul is very sad. Very. Um, anything else? Somebody's about to lose their life. Okay, I'm getting like a, I'm getting like an air sign. Okay, somebody, somebody got death right around the corner. Shit is crazy, and I feel like they keep calling it. They keep calling on it. Somebody's tired of this, this life they live in. I don't know. T.I. might put his boy up on the uh, docket for, you know, an extension. And I feel like somebody is um, dead weight and collateral damage and a liability anyway. And I'm feeling boosty too. I feel like these. Now they're actually considering. Um, like you know like in the Bible. When they put their son up for the sacrifice. You know. We'll put it like that. They, yeah. Make it biblical. Because yeah that's what this shit is. But who wrote your Bible? Who made his story? <sighs> hey. Mm -mm. Until next time.